Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for watching my videos, for your comments, for subscribing. You guys have no idea how overwhelmingly happy I am with the love that I'm receiving. I made this video because one of the study groups that I follow on Facebook, a person had made a comment asking if there was a video out here. So I figured if there isn't one, why not make one? Today, I will be discussing everything about Alzheimer's, explaining what it is, the stages, and how therapy can assist a person with the condition. Here you see I have Mario thinking to himself, what is Alzheimer's? It is a stage of dementia. It impairs the behavioral and cognitive function of the person affected. Alzheimer's gradually declines the person's memory, attention, and judgment. The person will have difficulty with time and place, communication, and a decline in self-care skills. They may exhibit inappropriate behaviors as well as personality changes. Stages. We have an, the early stage, middle stage, and later stage. So here I am breaking down the stages, early stage. At this point, the individual is going to have mild memory problems. They may forget where they place their keys, what they needed to get from the grocery store once they've arrived there. Things that are very subtle that most likely they will be the only one that notices. You may notice that they began to get withdrawn, have a decreased interest in preferred activities. They will still be able to complete the activities, but need to have them graded for success. At the early stages, they are completely independent with ADLs and IADLs. In the middle stage. Now, the middle stage is a little different because uh, the PDFs breaks it down into three, but elsewhere where I was looking, it is broken down to mod, moderate, and then moderate to mod severe. So I have just combined it all together. In the middle stage, you will notice that they need men assist for IADLs, so daily tasks. They will need some assistance for it, but they're completely independent in bathing, dressing. They will have a moderate memory loss. Unable to do new tasks, they will lose personal items. The individual may be in denial, moody, or paranoid. They have a decrease. And then, oh, let me back set myself up a little bit. As you're going from mod to moderate, at this point I started breaking it down to moderate to mod severe. You will notice a decrease in ability to complete ADLs and IADLs. They may not even be able to do them at all. They will have difficulty with sleeping, struggle with time and place, as well as have some impaired vision. There also may be some confusion. They may not know who you are, demand that you go away from them, and you can possibly be seeing wandering at this point. There's wandering. <laughs> the late stages. At the late stages, the individual is max assist for ADLs and IADLs. They are unable to self-feed and they will be bed bound. Most likely they will be in an assistant living facility or they could still be at home with a care provider coming to them. And last but not least, they are unable to communicate. So OT interventions. I know this looks super corny up here, but you guys, I'm like the queen of corniness. So let it slide. <laughs> I just thought it was really cute. Okay, early. What can we do to help someone at the early stages of their dementia? The more intervention that they can receive, the more helpful it can be because it can provide them with tools of living a functional life with a progressive disease. And at this point, I encourage the family and friends, if they notice changes, to speak out to the person. Encourage them to speak to their PCP. Request OT. 
that way you can get ahead of the game, start working on memory tasks, getting tools to make your daily functions a little bit more easier. The person will notice mild memory problems. They Others may notice the mood changes. So you won't notice early on that they're forgetful, but you may notice that they're moody. Encourage them to interact with their peers and to remain active, even if it's you know, saying, hey, let's go for a walk in the afternoon. The more active they can be, the better. In the middle stage, having OT therapy is important at this point. The therapist can provide them with tasks that they can complete that have two to three steps with simple instructions. You may also want to provide a visual aid of two to three steps on how to complete a task, such as brushing their teeth or making a grocery list. Complete activities to maintain memory. This is beneficial for the person. They can do various activities, simple math, problem solving, things to just help their brain keep those engines working. Encourage group therapy. In the middle stage, you will notice that the individual will start to isolate themselves. If you can get them to participate in group therapy now and develop the peer interaction and relationships, they may be more encouraged as this disease progresses. You also want to complete an OT driving class. They may not be suitable to drive anymore, and I think getting a head start on where they're at would be helpful and safe for everyone. Provide them with a home exercise program to increase movement when they are not in therapy. Recommend that the family uses door and window alarms when the individual begins to wander. And if the wandering increases, you definitely want to look into an assistant living facility if you cannot provide care. In the late stages, the individual may have a feeding tube or being fed, positioning every hour or less to ensure that they don't have skin breakdown or bed sores. They will be at max assist for ADLs. And IADLs, it will most likely be completed by family because that would be their finances and things such as that. At the last stages, there's not much that you can do in terms of therapy, but preserving the individual's quality of health. Anywho, last but not least, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was informative and semi-brief. Lord knows I tried. And like always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Tell a friend. Let the mailman know. Hey, you might not be into therapy, but this is informative. Do what you do. Anywho, thank you so much for watching.